So it was the 14,000, I think it's like, I wanna say roughly around $14,000. Is it worth it? I don't know, I guess it depends on who you ask. There's no way this thing's good right now. Last time I rode my Suron, it was raining out. Bike's literally filthy. Got my rubber glove up here, all good to go. Dude, look at how just cake this thing is. It's actually not too bad, because I rode it when it was dried up and a lot of it came off. Notice this, last time I rode it, we're missing a bolt right here. Um, other than that, this thing's been holding up pretty good. So if you guys see the pros and their dirt bikes, they usually have a Dunlop sticker on the outside of their tire. And a lot of people thought it was just paint, but it's not, it's actually a sticker. So when I get new tires on my Suron, obviously these ones are used, I'm not gonna put them on a used set. Hype for these, when I get new tires, these are going on, it's gonna make my bike look. Man, this thing will give you arm pump just holding it. All right, so check this out. As a lot of you guys know, I run a lot of prickly parts on my bike, all the components basically. And I also run a few things from Warp 9, like these wheels. Warp 9 also has pegs, so I'm gonna throw these on the bike. These things are looking beautiful. It's on. Ooh, I like the look of this peg. The black, I think it looks good with the bronze. Prickly definitely runs theirs a little wider. Is that half inch? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I actually really like these pegs. These look super clean. So I, now I have Warp 9 wheels and pegs. That's about it. All right, finally, the highly requested video of my Suron. Last time I did one of these bike walkthroughs, I had a completely, basically a different bike. Like I had a bunch of different parts that I didn't have on it now. My bike looks way different. So hopefully this answers a bunch of your guys' questions. I'm gonna go through the bike from the front all the way to the back, listing all the parts that I have on this thing. But yeah, this thing's looking pretty dialed right now. Obviously, the main thing that is different on this bike, I will say, is the Fox 40s. These are 2021. 2021 or 2022? 27.5 Fox 40s. These things are good. The max PSI it says to pump them up to is about 115. Honestly, that's not enough for the Suron, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I pump these things up to like about 150, 160, and I have air tokens in it. Not sure how safe that is, but at the same time, I'd rather not bottom out. A lot of people are iffy on the orange, though. A lot of people don't like the orange, they like the black. A lot of people do like the orange. I don't know, it's like a 50-50. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the orange. I think it looks good, it's kind of grown on me, it matches my BAC. Here we have a 19 front wheel by warp 9 it is the same size as the stock wheels that come on the Suron, except they're warp 9 so they're more heavy duty can handle a lot more i love these things right here we have a 220 floating rotor from warp 9 as well uh, so more stopping power 220 rotor definitely worth it in my opinion the brakes are another new addition to this bike i've had them for a while just haven't announced it on my youtube channel i have the trp trail evos and they do make one above this i think it's the dhr i just have the trails i could basically get a set of the trails for a price of one of those dhr brakes um these things have been nothing but good to me. Stopping power on this thing is great. Like I have no complaints about the stopping power with the TRPs. So yeah, if you guys wanna upgrade both your brakes for a reasonable price, I think I paid 420, I believe, 420 out the door. I would say TRP Trail Evos is probably gonna be your best bet. We're going to the front here. We have a Baja S2 Pro Light. I like this thing a lot. I think it looks good. It looks sick on the bike, in my opinion. Right here in the front, we just have a standard ODI mountain bike plate. Makes it look like a dirt bike, kind of. Right up here, we have direct mount stem by fun it's a 31.8 i just got this off amazon to be honest with you i just seen a few other people running it like when i first hopped on this not many people had parts for the suron suroncer was definitely one of them who had this direct stem mount that i saw got it off amazon nothing no complaints about it everything's been good with it so far i have the renthal fat bar on here i think it's cut to 760 a 20 millimeter rise i believe we have a rissy racing drop crown for the fox 40s that is definitely a must i didn't have that on my last fox 40s and i blew those things out a lot we're gonna go down here we have the bac 4000 by emoto bros no complaints about that thing that thing runs this bike amazing if you guys are looking for a controller i would highly recommend a bac 4000 by emoto bros we move up we have a 72 volt battery by chai it is a 38 amp hour i believe 
It is the 72 volt compact. This one honestly is my favorite. This is the one that sticks the lowest. So it's like somewhat kind of normal. You see how I have this little right here. I have this 3D spacer so this battery fits on. Would be cool if it did sit flush, but it doesn't. Yeah, if you guys are actually interested in buying a 72 volt battery, a 60 volt battery for your Suron from Shai, use my code Zay. It'll save you $100, I believe $100 off at checkout. Moving on. We have a Thrill Seekers seat cover. If you guys don't have a seat cover, I'd highly recommend getting one. This thing is a million times better than the stock seat. We have a skid plate. It is from Luna Cycles. It's all right. I don't, I mean, it's just a skid plate to be honest. It looks cool. It's a little bit stronger than the stock. I don't know anything I get from Luna. I'm just, I used to run the rotors and the rotors were, I'm not trying to like talk down on Luna. I just don't think the quality of them is the highest. Not many people make the skid plates. We get down into here. This is where a lot of the prickly part components start to come in. And I have a chain conversion. I don't have a belt. With a 72 volt, it's super easy to shred the belt, especially if you ride dirt. So I would say a chain is probably the more reliable thing to do. The 420 chain specifically, not the 219. Right here, we have the peg bracket. So we have the brace support bar right in the back here. And then the peg bracket where the pegs mount on here. I have warp nine pegs on here. We have the linkage and the triangle for the suspension. That's a must. If you guys are gonna upgrade your stuff. I would highly recommend prickly parts. This right here, we have a standard gold chain. I'm pretty sure it's a DAD. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. We have a 54 tooth sprocket. I had a 54 tooth on my bike when the bike was stock because I wanted a little more torque. Honestly, with the 72 volt, a 48 tooth is literally just fine. It'll make it so you could actually go a little bit faster than you can with the 54. Come in the back here, we have the TRPs once again, some more prickly components that I could list all on the website. This right here covers the rotor, brake caliper mount. It's also another super cool part about the bike that I like is the rear tire. Stock, the bikes will come with a 19 front and a 19 rear. This is a 16 rear, it's not a 19. It is, I'm pretty sure this is an 85 tire. Uh, I'm running Dunlop MX-53s. But dude, I have no complaints about this rear tire. I'm gonna say this is probably the way to go if you want it to feel more like a dirt bike. It's just, it, it distributes the power way more. I would not recommend getting a 16 rear for stock power though. I think if you are gonna get a 16 rear, having the 72 volt or the 60 volt with the BAC, then it'll be worth it. But with stock power, I think it, it's just too heavy and it'd rob too much power. That's just my personal take on it. I don't know, I'm sure a lot of people have different takes on all sorts of different stuff that I have on my bike. I think that's everything. I think I went through everything. My rear shock is stock. It is a KKE. I have a 550 pound stiff spring on it. And I think the stock one was 350. I think that's that's literally it. So if you guys want to get any upgraded battery, a 72 volt chai, a 60 volt, use my code Zay at checkout, save yourself a hundred bucks, save yourself some money off prickly parts as well. All in all, was every upgrade worth it? In my opinion, yes. If I were to say one thing, it would be the forks if you guys want the flex of the fox 40s obviously they have the gold stanchions i would probably just get the bomber 58s because it is about half the price and i'm pretty sure they do the exact same thing that's about it though like i want to say roughly around fourteen thousand dollars this thing 13 14k maybe i don't know i gotta add everything up is it worth it i don't know i guess it depends on who you ask me personally i think this thing's super fun i would say yeah it, it's probably worth it it would be cool if it had like an actual set of moto forks on the front but Fox 40s seem to be like what is popping on these things. So, and the most popular. Yeah, without further ado, I think that's it. I did go riding up into the hills not too long ago and have some GoPro footage. So I think I'm gonna throw some of that stuff in there, keep it kind of raw. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments of anything I should do with this thing, any new parts I should get on this bike or anything I should try that you guys have ideas of, comment them down below because I'm pretty much, I don't really know what else to do to this thing, to be honest. Yeah, maybe put a paddle tire on it, take it to the dunes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure some stuff out. Okay, enjoy the rest of this video. Ooh, can we just look at it? It's clean right now. How's that? Just cleaned it, bro, both of us. When was the last time you cleaned yours? Yo. <laughs> He's like, yo. <laughs> we'll get it going. Oh. Damn, bro, Matt's cooking. Ooh, in the shade, the dirt's still pretty wet from all the rain we've been getting. Oh. Oh, into the bush.
Yeah, dog. He made it. Screw. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this. Dude, this part's so sketchy, I remember this. Follow the rut. <laughs> <laughs> follow the leader. You want to just mob and I'll follow? Yeah, well, let's just mob. Let's just keep going. I don't like leading. Seth, you lead. Go. Pin it. Pin it. Pin it. Oh. Good thing I pumped up the forks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, good, good thing I pumped my forks up. Holy shit, bro. I feel like I'm gonna like blow out both front and rear wheels. Dude, Seth is on a smaller bike too. He's on a sick one. Woo. <laughs> you were cooking. Damn, you were cooking down that hill. Dude, it must be those beefy ass tires. Were you just holding on or what? I'm just chilling down that bitch. <laughs> oh, this is a straight rock climb hill. Ooh, it's handling. Whoa. Dude, this is the OG spot. Look at someone left their trash. How nice. Oh, I forgot about this part. Bruh. Did OJ. Crap. Whoops, section. Oh, I cased that. You guys probably could hear my breathing because the mic. My bad, yo. I can't help it. Hit that thing. I know, I cased it too when I first hit it. You got that, you just go wide. Just let her eat, dude, you good. Yeah, I mean, I cased the hell out of it. It was fine, he cased it, we're good. Skirt! Oh! Oh, the hole! Oh, I almost landed in that mud. Oh, that was a hard landing. Yo! There's no way this thing's good right now. What happened? <laughs> that was all she had. <laughs> Dude, man, I overjumped that so bad. <laughs> Dude, it probably would have been a big ass spring. I don't know. Like at least how I hit it, I didn't fully make it. Yeah? I, I gave it all she had. <laughs> that bitch was fat. That was everything? Oh, bro. I was, up to, <laughs> I was pulling up to the lip and I was like, 
Can I go faster? Nope. <laughs> yeah, dude. I tried to pull it more, it was nothing left. Man, I, I OJ'd it bad. Yeah. Like, I'm talking, that even touch tranny. Dude, it's so easy to OJ stuff with more power. Oh, it is, yeah. It's like insanely easy. I landed like right here. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Oh. How close did I get? Dude, you were almost had that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all hyped. Yeah! Oh, you need more than that. Zero speed, but I think I made it. Dude, you gotta just preload the hell out of it. Dude, I'm like sliding like all at it. I'm gonna go again. I OJ it. Ooh. I think I could OJ it. Dude, you <laughs> I I literally hit like the little bit on the left where there's more of a lip. Oh, you were fucking. <laughs> yeah. Holy. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. That's a good one. Fuck oh, forty. Back to this spot, dude. Look down. Nah. Hell no, nah, I'm out of here.